Hi everybody, we're here playing The Bloodline, a new uh, survival open world RPG that just came out. Uh, it's really solid so far. I've just got a couple of sticking issues with me, one of which is finding just basic resources. There's a lot of building and crafting that you can do, and they require some simple things like wood and stone, which are surprisingly kind of tricky to get. So I've spent a little while trying to figure out the best places to get just some of these starting basic equipment, or basic materials, and uh, I think I found a really good spot for it, and that is the Glenheim Hills. The Glenheim Hills are located just east of Millshade, the little town, um, which is located east of your castle. Um, so you're going to get quests to come here pretty early, and I would suggest going here first um, if you want just basic mats such as stone and wood and uh, metal and that kind of thing. So let's go ahead and dive into the Glenheim Hills. So I have not explored the entirety of this point of interest. Um, there's a lot of uh, spaces like bandit camps and uh, a bunch of stuff back here. But what we're going to focus on right now is this area right here, which is called the Lower Hills. Um, there's also this lake area, which is also real good. And then there's a cave back this way that I'll show you guys. But um, as you can see, there's a lot of trees to harvest, um, but you know, a good amount of wood. Like uh, I had to come back and forth a couple of times to be able to unlock harvesting birch trees, but you do that just getting the amount of trees that you need to get stuff anyway. Um, but the real key is the amount of minerals here. Um, and so uh, there's a lot of stone, a lot of uh, coal, um, and then you use those um, to level up your mining and uh, then that'll allow you to harvest copper and then uh, you harvest that up and then that'll allow you to harvest iron. Um, there's some silver nodes here. There's even a gold node that's spawned, um, but you need uh, uh, a mining of eight to get that. But all along this ridge and then there's up here, there's a whole bunch of resources as far as minerals go. And then scattered throughout the region there are trees, there's lots of animals to harvest. There's pigs. Um, you can see lots of rabbits. And uh, over here by the lake, there are lots of fishing spots. So there's plenty of opportunities to fish. Um, obviously, lots of foraging in the way of mushrooms and um, some, some good mushrooms, some good plants that you can, you can harvest. Um, yeah, a bunch of fishing spots. And then you can continue to go over this way. And all of this right here is very safe. So up on this ledge up here, when you're harvesting minerals, uh, there are some oozes, some blobs, um, which are very easily dealt with. Um, over here, you're going to get a couple of goblins, and then there's a really kind of a little more of a tough guy over that way. Um, and then there's some goblins here under this arch. Um, but once you get up past those areas, uh, that's when you start to run into bandits and a little more difficult stuff. But if you just want to stick to some basic resources and some good farming spots without any danger of anything, this lower hill zone is just the best spot for it. Uh, now I'm going to show you guys where, if you're going to follow one of the quest lines, and then also if you want some even more mining, um, but have to actually fight some stuff, I'm going to show you where to go. Um, Okay, so we're going to head under this arch, and if you've got uh, the quest from Millshade to recover the family pickaxe, um, this is where you're going to want to go. It's going to take you this way. Now, under this arch, there are a couple goblins, maybe two um, and uh, or three, uh, and then just past that, we're going to go to the right. So I'm going to kill these guys and then roll to the right. Okay, so once you roll to the right from the arch, uh, you're going to come across this little mining camp. There are... About a half a dozen goblins here of varying strengths, um, so just keep that in mind. But uh, if you can beat these guys, it's definitely worth it. Uh, another quest you can get in Millshade is to find this bug for this woman, the tree hopper. Um, she says they might be located in the tall trees of the Glenheim Hills. That's back here, um, which again is a reasonably safe area. You can get to it either under the arch and fight goblins or go all the way around past the lake. Um, but you're going to see these tall trees, and they're going to have these mushrooms growing on the side of them, these big mushrooms that you can't pick. Um, those are actually like bouncy mushrooms. So if you climb up and drop down on one of those, or just stand on it, it'll bounce you up to the next one, which will bounce you up to the next one. Uh, it was a little surprising, and I'm glad I didn't fall the first time. Um, but then up in these, first of all, you can see that there's 
uh, fungus that grows or flower that grows up there, um, which is pretty good for alchemy and potion crafting. But also, then these little bugs flop around on the different branches, and that's where you grab them and you get the little tree hopper, and then you can go deliver it back to her. But uh, so that's another quest that you're gonna get uh, for the Glenheim Hills. Okay, so now that we've killed those goblins, there's some more uh, mining resources, mining nodes up here. Um, but the main uh, main thing you're shooting for here is this mining, this mine. Uh, for the pickaxe quest, you're going to need to go in here. There are no bad guys in here. Um, the mining, the pickaxe quest will take you in there where you deal with a dude. You may have to fight him, um, but you, after you've defeated him or dealt with that you can come back in here as often as it respawns and harvest all this stuff there's never any bad guys in here um so this is another really great spot for resources basic resources and then this back area back here there are no bad guys back there except for maybe a bad plant or something but very manageable um so between that the lower hills area up there um the uh the lake uh and then the area surrounding that and then uh, this area back here, not very many bad guys at all. Very manageable. If you want a little bit more of a challenge and fight some goblins, go in that mining cave. Tons of good stuff in there. Um, and as long as you stick to these regions, there's not a lot of bad guys to deal with. It's a very easily refarmable area. I got my uh, wood cutting all the way up to be able to harvest birch trees. I got my mining way up to get freaking silver and gold stuff. Um, you just keep coming back here for resources. And this is where I found the best spot to get most of the good resources that you need just to do crafting and building. And that's what I'm focusing on is trying to build up those cool things for your settlement and stuff like that. And this is so far the best spot I've found. So hopefully that helps you guys out.